Hi guys and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking and a lot of discussion has happened ever since that news kind of came out about Michael Keaton coming back to play The Dark Knight in the Flashpoint Flash solo film in 2022. Now of course with every rumour you have to take with a grain of salt but it's gathered a lot of attention and gathered a lot of discussions about what exactly is the DCU right now. You can go check out my other videos where I give my opinion on actually what the DCU is right now. What does Flashpoint, what does the multiverse mean for the DCU going forward? But people have been discussing, is Michael Keaton's role a cameo? Is he going to have that Nick Fury role like uh, Samuel L. Jackson has in the MCU? Is he just going to be a mentor towards the Flash in that film? And my opinion was that I think he's going to take over the Thomas Wayne role from the comics in the actual film. Not as in uh, Ben Affleck's father or taking over Ben Affleck's character. No, I'm talking about him taking the Thomas Wayne storyline from the comics in which he helps Flash reset the timeline along with Cyborg. So that's why I think Michael Keaton's role will be in the film. But an interesting uh, exclusive, this person called it last night on YouTube, I came across it and it's over at Film Speak. Okay, now you can go check out the video yourself. It's from Griffin Schiller. He's the man who runs that YouTube channel. And he said he has a new exclusive regarding Michael Keaton and Michael Keaton in the DCU and maybe a Batman Beyond film. Now he said his source is very reliable and that his source has given him information in the past, which has turned out to be true. Now, me personally, I don't know much about Griffin. I don't know much about his YouTube channel. I checked out a few of his videos. It all looks, um, looks it's well put together and it looks good. So he had this interesting thing to say that he heard about the Batman in the DCU and in regards to Michael Keaton's Batman. He has heard from his sources that Michael Keaton's role in the Flashpoint film will be an extended cameo. Now, a lot of people predicted that, a lot of people thought that when the news first broke. He also goes on to say that this is supposed to be setting up the Batman Beyond film with Michael Keaton. And he says they're looking at a 2023 release date for that film. Now, that gets people a lot, a lot interested and excited because a lot of people for years have been picturing what it would be like to see Michael Keaton return and to play the Batman Beyond character the batman beyond batman that that plot many people call that for years which would introduce terry mcginnis who would take over the batman role from bruce wayne and bruce would be more of a mentor more of a alfred type in helping him become the batman and realizing exactly what it takes to become the dark knight but he, he said that he that's that's what he's heard it's an extended cameo that's supposed to be setting up the flash the batman beyond film in flashpoint now, am I excited about this? I'm excited to see Michael Keaton come back. And uh, I don't know much about the Batman Beyond lore. For me, Bruce Wayne is Batman and he has the Bat family. But if this is the direction that they're thinking of going in, then why not? If there's a good story behind it, if there's a good director, if they've got good things in mind, why not? He also says that it might be Batgirl that they use instead of Terry McGuinness, which would be interesting to see a female Batman on the screen. Of course, we need a... I've said before that I would always like to see a female Joker. Just see something different and interesting. And that's what I thought we would get with the Flashpoint storyline with Jeffrey D. Morgan coming back and Lauren Cohen coming back and them playing their comic book accurate counterparts. But now we don't really know. Um, film cast, uh, film speaks, right, says that Jeffrey D. Morgan is not in the script. He was he, that that's not happening at the moment. So. I don't know, like we, have, we have to take everything with a pinch of salt when we hear things because we don't know what's true until it's actually confirmed. I still think that, my, that Jeffrey D. Morgan will make a cameo in the film. I think it would be kind of stupid not to. Even if they have him in it for just a minute or two, or even just a look at him in the bat suit, I think a lot of fans would appreciate that from Warner Brothers, from Andy Machete, if he could place that into the film. But of course, it's a Flash film, and you don't want to have too many characters take over the spot spotlight from flash himself it's supposed to be building up ezra miller in the role and as the character and you don't want to come away with another just sleep 2017 aspect where people aren't really too fond of ezra miller in the role and then you're probably thinking of a recast after that if people and if the audiences don't attract to his portrayal of the character so there's a lot of pressure on ezra miller flash going forward but saying that Zack Snyder's just he would probably correct the madness and the badness that we've seen in 2017 so I think we'll be okay in that aspect but 
Michael Keaton to return in the Flashpoint film to set up a Batman Beyond film in the future. I find it very interesting that they're having so many Batmans right now. Uh, and of course, I've, as I've said, the multiverse is well and it's alive within the DCU. Every Batman is canon. Every film that we've ever seen from DC seems to be canon in this world. And look, I'm all for it. I, I think it's cool. It's very different from what the MCU is doing, where everything has to be a linear, one-told story, and everything, everything has to connect. I think it's pretty cool that we get the Schneiderverse, his five-story arc, hopefully on HBO Max, and then we get to see Robin Pattinson's Batman, and we get to see the Flash film, and them introducing a Batman and that, and then get to see Aquaman. I find it very interesting. As a fan, I'm excited to see these different, unique films that we could see, PG-13, well-made films, or are rated uh, masterpieces like the Joker so I'm all for it as a DC fan going forward. Film Speak also says that the Michael Keaton deal is not done but if it needs to be done then Michael Keaton is looking for Tim Burton to come back and direct that Batman Beyond film in 2023. Now of course the two of them have a very close relationship after 89 and then Batman Returns films that they made together and then when uh, Burton was leaving Keaton left and after that he wasn't doing a Batman film without Tim Burton so the two of them left together and we never got that trilogy of the two together you think of all the iconic films that have trilogies and the Batman uh, Burton verse that we have doesn't have that third installment the Schumacher films are kind of supposedly in the same world but they're not in the same world they kind of refer to what happened in the Burton verse but they're kind of not connected it's kind of weird but we never really got that third film and I would find it interesting if Tim Burton did come back and did the Batman Beyond film you know it's it would be placed in his world his in his Burton verse and I think it would be very um very cool to see him end a trilogy or it could set up another trilogy now do i necessarily think that tim burton has to come back i think if they were doing a batman film a third batman film with just michael keaton in that burton verse then i think you probably need uh, tim burton to come back to recreate that world because he's very he's a very unique director not many people could copy what he did in that world and do it so well and make it look flawless and make it look gothic and cool but saying that, earlier on last year, we got to see Mike Flanagan take on the Shining uh, sequel, Doctor Sleep. And I thought he did a fascinating job to link it up with Kubrick's masterpiece. So saying that, it's not the end of a world if Tim Burton doesn't come and direct Batman Beyond. If someone came in, a talented director that could do his own thing but also pay homage, then I think that could be done and that could be okay. But Michael Keaton not wanting to come back without Tim Burton does kind of sound a little bit familiar and it does kind of sound a little bit real that he wouldn't want to do a batman film without burton because the, the first two they did was they were huge successes until this day people speak about them very highly and say that burton did an amazing job and michael keaton is the best batman of all time and look that's a very strong argument and they're in very very good films with very very strong teams and great performances in them from great actors so a batman beyond film in 2023 with Tim Burton coming in and I don't think he would 100% adapt the Batman Beyond storyline or world uh, building I think he would do his own thing like he did back in 89 so I think if you're looking for a comic book accurate or a animated accurate um, look at Batman Beyond I don't think you're going to get with Tim Burton I think he will bring elements from it but he will also do his own thing like he's done in every other film but he's a talented man and he knows these characters so why not for him to come back and Michael Keaton, you know, at the moment he's in the in the Burton verse, but he's also in the MCU. He was in the Spider Man Homecoming film, which he was very good in. Then we also see him in uh, the trailer for Morbius, which is supposed to be in the Sony verse, linked up with Venom. So it's Michael Keaton is doing nothing wrong now. He's in all these universes, so maybe he's not just in the multiverse of the DCU. Maybe he's in the multiverse of comic book movies. So that brings the question, what kind of Mikey Keaton Batman are we going to get in the Flashpoint film? Will we just get him as Bruce Wayne? Will we get him in the Bat suit? Will we get him in some kind of Kingdom Come Batman suit? Or what way are we going to be perceived of Michael Keaton in the role? Now, the 89 Batman suit is pretty iconic and look, that logo is pretty cool. It's probably up there with Ben Affleck's logo for the Bat. 
Um, I would love personally to see him a little bit of Bruce Wayne or just a little bit in the bat suit, a little bit of both, maybe even with the cowl off because that look is actually really cool on um, people who play the Batman. So look, what kind of suit are we going to get? We don't know exactly, but the Hollywood Reporter said that he will be in the Batman suit and it makes sense. You can't have Michael Keaton come back and not have him in the suit. But I also don't want him in the exact same suit that we see him in Batman Returns. I'd like to see a few upgrades on his suit. Maybe the Batcave looks a little bit different. Um, just something a little bit new and refreshing to the suit. I don't want them to completely change it because I want them to have the respect towards Burton's films. But also add something new, add something a little bit different. Show maybe a little bit of wear and tear. Something, of course, uh, with technology or, or just an upgrade of the suit. Uh, that, that would be awesome to see. And if they were to use the Kingdom Come suit, which is pretty kind of... We've seen Kevin Conroy kind of use a similar one in the CW um, multiverse episode that they did. And it looked okay. It, looked okay. it was it was fine for the budget that they have. But I think for a big movie budget, I think they should definitely go full on with the Kingdom Come suit and really show it off. You know, it's kind of more metal and more protection in the bat suit. But it would be interesting to see because we've seen a Batman suit in many films. It would be interesting to see a con Kingdom Come Batman suit. So will any other Tim Burton Batman characters appear in the Flashpoint film? I don't think so in the Flashpoint. Maybe in Batman Beyond. We could get Michelle Pfeiffer come back as Catwoman. Maybe. People are saying that Jack Nicholson's Joker. Look, Jack Nicholson is a retired actor now. He's living his life, enjoying his life. He, he's done his part for movies. But I don't expect to see any other characters come back. Danny DeVito or anything like that. I don't expect those characters to come back. I just expect to see Michael Keaton's Batman and maybe Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. It would be cool maybe in the Batcave to see um, maybe items or or things that he's taken off of his role gallery when he's come across them and fought them and um, something that resembles Bane or something that resembles Two-Face something like that that would be pretty cool you know just to see kind of little snippets he's taken to, from villains that he's beaten and he would, be, he would be a very dark Batman he would be a much older Batman who is still protecting Gotham City and just can't let go of being the Batman but anyway guys let me know what you think of all this information do you think it's true do you think it's false are you happy to see Michael Keaton come back to don the cape of Batman, at least in the Flashpoint solo film? And of course, if Batman Beyond film happens, it's a few years from now and there isn't even a script made for that film yet. Because Michael Keaton, I know we're talking a lot of speculation about Michael Keaton, but he's not confirmed yet. It's just been talk. So DC fandom is coming up, of course, in August. And they have teased some sort of event for the Batman Burtverse, Burtonverse. So... Let's see what's going to happen. I'm sure they will share some new information and address these rumors and these rumors in some capacity. But let me go know, guys, what you think of all this information. Give a like, comment, subscribe, come follow me on the socials, and until next time, guys, Michael Keaton's Batman might return.